complex and road noise is remarkable for an open-top vehicle. Cornering speeds are so high that it's virtually impossible to approach the limits of adhesion at even remotely legal speeds. Virtual Reality Unlike the aforementioned Hurricane, the Audi R8 easily qualifies as a comfortable long-distance cruiser. The front trunk is relatively spacious, and interior space is generous despite there no longer being any storage behind the front seats. Instead, the Spider version has a glass rear window that can be lowered even with the top up. Doing so allows for an even more unfiltered sound experience. View 41 Photos The interior features Audi's virtual cockpit TFT instrumentation, combined with the electronic gear selector and the techy surfaces, it gives the cabin a futuristic aura that's a huge step forward from the predecessors and is perhaps the most forward-thinking in its segment. It would be great if the same could be said of the exterior. But the design department decided that a somewhat conservative evolution of the previous car was more appropriate. It doesn't work out so well to our eyes. The grille is overly boxy, the side view suffers from a drooping character line, and the rear end looks busy and confused. Once more, Audi's lighting technology tantalizes, with a dramatic treatment of LED lights front and rear. Europe gets optional laser headlights. Styling, though, is a matter of taste. What's beyond dispute is that, even without a generation's long pedigree, the R8 Spider is one of the world's elite super sports cars.